Hey guys, welcome back to Small Critic Captain 2017 and part 54 of the road to world number one with England. And today we have the start of the Sri Lanka series. Uh, but before we get into it, I just want to let you know about my plans for the series and a, a special announcement for this week as well. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to keep daily content for at least until Friday this week, and then we we might look at changing how we're we're going to do it. Um going to keep it at 8 o'clock but I think it's going to become bi-daily and it's going to alternate with F1 2017 at 8 o'clock every single day. Um, so hopefully you guys are alright with that obviously um, in about a month I start uni again and also I've got a very very busy month in September so it'll be good for me to sort of switch to that um, sort of program now uh, while I'm in control of it. And uh, and just get you guys used to it before I'm back to uni and, and things will slow down anyway. But uh, yeah, hopefully you'll be fine with that. But a very special episode on Wednesday I've got planned. Um, we are going to do the first stream of this save. Obviously I've been doing a couple of streams on uh, the other save, the ODI Limited Overs Road to World Number 1. If you haven't seen that. Go and check it out. Um, the the first stream was a bit of a disaster, but the second one was really, really enjoyable. And I'm actually going to be streaming this save on Wednesday at 8 o'clock. We're going to be doing uh, the final test of the Sri Lanka series, and we're also going to be doing all of the Bangladesh series. Touch wood, depending on how long it all takes. But uh, join us on Wednesday, 8 o'clock UK time, 8 p.m., um, if you if you want to come to the stream, it would be really good to see you all there. Anyway, let's get into this match. This is the squad that I've picked for Sri Lanka. Salisbury has come back into the squad. He is injured at the moment, but uh, he joins Stephen Finn, Anderson Helm, Crane. I'm bringing along as a spinner. Uh, I've got Stokes, Rashid. Obviously, uh, he had a very good subcontinent winter last year. Walks and Ali. Bearstow returns as wicketkeeper after getting some runs for his county. Uh, Duggett returns after being injured. Balance, Quentin. Uh, Livingston, Fogden, Root and uh, Jennings as well as Alistair Cook will come along. So yeah, let's get into it. Uh, we'll give Cook uh, some batting practice with Joe Root and Fogden and Duckett and Bairstow. And then we'll give some bowling practice to Anderson and Helm and also Chris Walks because those people are definitely playing. Joe Root needs some physio time, as does Ben Duckett. So let's get into it. Here we go. Um, I don't know what that says. Colombo, maybe under that. So, yeah, we're in Colombo for the first test match. Um, and contrary to my belief, I we, we have actually played Sri Lanka in this series so far. So, yeah, we're going to have Cook and Duckett opening. I think Root at three worked well. Uh, we'll have Fogden at four, um, Livingston at five. What what did Quentin do in that last Australia match? Did he even play? Uh, he got 15. Um, but he has been in good county form. Um, well, there's no spinner in this squad. Uh, so we'll take Quentin out of it. And we'll give... Ooh, Rashid a go, I think. Rashid gets the nod. And we'll move him down to 9. Bairstow at 6. Uh, Stokes at 7. Walks at 8. Rashid at 9. Helm at 10. And Anderson at 11. You guys have been screaming out to uh, have Helm as the opening bowler. Along with Anderson. So we'll do that. And yeah, let's get into it. It's going to be a batsman's paradise. Um, it's going to be difficult to beat Sri Lanka on home soil. But... Um, yeah, we'll bat first. We'll see what we can do. Uh, and hopefully you guys are good. Still enjoying the series. We're still getting well over 100 views every every video, which is absolutely amazing. And uh, thank you so much for that. Oh, Duck had gone on his return very early on. He's out for 10, and it's now 16 for 1. Somebody asked for medium highlights uh, in the last episode. I just think the episodes would be a little bit too long. And, yeah, I don't know. I, I like it on low. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Master Cook, very, very lucky there. Obviously, he's on his expedition to become the best ever batsman. Um, oh, well, test cricket batsman ahead of Tendulkar. 
uh, by getting 52 test centuries and well, we'll say 16,000 runs. Lunch interval on day one then. It's 86 for one. Cook and Root going quite nicely at the minute, which is good to see. That's very, very streaky from Joe Root there. Aponzo now to Root. Oh, he's gone for 41. And now Fogden comes to the crease. Fernando to Cook. It's a terrific delivery, you know. It really is a terrific delivery. Alistair Cook goes to his 50. He is closing in on that. 59 26 whatever it is he's very very close now only another 200 runs he's five centuries off equal in the record six centuries off breaking it i hope he does it i really do it would be such a shame for for him to, to go on and not do it uh, and you never know he might retire at the end of this year it's it's difficult to tell but 170 for two at t we can be very very pleased with that Aponzo now to Cook. Got himself outside the line well there. 50 for Fogden. That's good to see. Nice little shot there. Unlucky. Aponzo now to Cook. And that's gone. That's LBW. Cook gone for 84. That's such a shame for him to get so close to another century. But it's helped him in his quest to become the highest ever run scorer. And that's probably all that matters to him at the moment um, it's helped us pass 200 Livingston obviously had a very good match against the Aussies last time out and I think deserved another chance but he has gone for 15 here so you know, under pressure already in this series obviously Bairstow has come into the squad now as well end of day 1, 252 for 4 uh, it would be lovely to see Fogden go and get a centre, and he has done that early on day two. That's high in the air, though. Oh, it's dropped. Wow. And maybe it's his lucky day, so let's attack him a little bit more. Ah, oh, that could be out, though. It is. He's gone for 118. Ben Stokes now comes to the crease in very good form in real life. Um, can he recapture his form? He was obviously dropped for the last Ashes test. Can he recapture his form? Ponzo now. Not quite. Uh, Johnny Bairstow doing quite nicely as well. As we reach the lunch interval, it's 372 for five. We've got another five wickets in hand here. We could... Oh, Stokes has gone for 47. I was going to say we could go on and make a big score, but with Wokes gone now... Uh... It could be a little bit more difficult. 50 for Johnny Bairstow, which is good to see. We'll try and attack these two just a little bit. Ah, oh, what a shame. Walk's gone for 21. That brings Rashid to the crease. Hopefully Bairstow can go and get his sentry. We'll tell Bairstow to keep strike, actually. That's four. Yeah, Bairstow, 100 for him. Good return to the side, his 10th test century. And, yeah, really taking the game to uh, Sri Lanka. Chimera now to Bairstow. That was a t really quick delivery. That's high in the air from Bairstow. There's somebody out there, and it has been caught. Bairstow gone for 130. That now brings Helm to the crease, so Adil Rashid takes over as the, the slogger. Outside the line, Tina of on day two, 508 for eight. Um, oh, Rashid gone for 23. Anderson comes to the crease. We might as well just have a bit of a laugh with these two. They'll probably get out straight away, but we'll have a bit of fun in uh, in watching it. They are getting a couple of boundaries and could make all the difference at the end of the match. You never ever know. Well, this is a. Uh, a good over from Aponzo. I tell you what, Rashid will be licking his lips at this surface. There's been a lot of good balls with the the spinners. And these two chipping away, you know, they're not doing it as efficiently as you'd like, but Helm gone for nine finally. And 526 all out. I think we can be very, very pleased with that. Can Anderson make an early breakthrough? Yes, he can. What a catch from Helm that is. And whoever that is, he's gone 4-4. Four, four, and it's now 4-1. Four, four,
Anderson and Mendes now. Ooh, that would have been a really good start. Uh, two wickets in the opening over. Anderson going towards 650 wickets. He's one away now from that. Bring Rashid in. Rashid now to De Silva. And we know Alastair Cook can bowl in these conditions as well. Who remembers that from last year? Goodness me. End of day two, 95 for one. We'll continue with Stokes and, and Rashid just after lunch. Uh, or at the start of day three. And Rashid gets his first wicket. Mendes gone for 65. A nice fluent 65 from him as well. But uh, he's finally gone. And we'll now bring Chris Walks and James Anderson in. Anderson to De Silva. 650 wickets now for James Anderson in his test career. What a brilliant player he has been. He could quite easily go and get 700 test wickets if he continues on one more year. I'm not sure he will though. Walks to Chandamal. Not quite. Um, bring Helm in with Rashid. Uh, and that's a launch interval on day three. It's 195 for three. There's still 300 behind us here. Uh, we'd love to get a couple of early wickets here, but it's not happening. Walks and Stokes, uh, the partnership to end all partnerships. Stokes now to Matthews. Can we make the breakthrough? Not quite. As I said, it is going to be difficult to, to get wickets on this surface. Helm now to Matthews. Not quite. New ball is available. And we're going to take it straight after T. Helm and Anderson. Anderson to Chandamal. Oof. Anderson to Chandamal again. Oh, close. Anderson to Matthews now. Terrific delivery and Matthews gone for 77. We finally made the breakthrough. Anderson now to Jai Surya. He's gone for 11. Shahan Jai Surya. I wonder if he's any relation to the other one. <laughs> Can't remember his uh, first name, but Anderson four wickets in this innings. Really, really good stuff from him. Rashid now can he get his second wicket? You bet he can. That's a stump, and he's gone for 28. Come on. Walks now to Chandamal. How about Rashid to Fernando? Got him. That's his third wicket, Rashid. Doing quite well, end of day three, 3.96 for seven. We're still 130 in the lead here, which is real testament to uh, how good these bowlers have been so far. <coughs> you know, they're limiting Sri Lanka here. Aponzo gone for 13. It's going to be the race to the five wicket haul here. Rashid now to Faumi. Gets his five wicket haul. He's gone for a duck. Can Anderson get the last wicket and get his five wicket haul? Anderson to Chandamal, that's a good delivery, not quite good enough though, we'll bring Helm in with Wokes, Helm now to Chimera, oh, that's four, well it wasn't four actually, there was a fielder out there, that's four though, goodness me, Helm now to Chandamal, Wokes now to Chandamal and that could be it, no, how about this time? That's a terrific delivery. There's nobody out there, though. Walks now to Chandamal again. Edged and gone. He's out for 206. What an innings from him. 511 all out. We've only got a first innings lead of 15, which is a bit temperamental. Chimera now to Cook, and he's gone early. He's out for four, so his quest to become the best ever batsman uh, goes on another day. Duckett out for 16. Fernando to Fogden, no. We need these two to perform. Obviously, Fogden had a sentry in the first innings, but uh, that could be him out. Oof, must have been going down the leg side. That was close. Ponzo now to Root. Not quite. T interval on day four. We need to push on just a little bit if we have any intention of winning this match. 50 for both Root and Fogden, so I think it's now time to go and try and be a bit proactive about this and get a get a decent lead. Aponzo to Root again. 
That's out. Root gone for 62. Livingston comes to the crease now. We know he can attack, but maybe it's a bit much to ask him to come in straight away and attack. Most definitely. Pons out to Fogden. Brought the 200 up now, so we lead by 220 odd. Pons out to Fogden again. Close. I think I think Fogden's got his sentry there, actually. I think we've just missed that. He has got his sentry, so that's two sentries in the match for him. And Liam Livingston's gone to 50. That's great. End of day four, then. We lead by 271. We're going to need to come out and be just as proactive. Get that 300 lead. And, and declare... Maybe an hour in. Shall we declare now? We're 3.42 ahead. Yes, we will declare. We're going to try and win this match. They need 3.43 to win in two and a half sessions. I don't think that's quite going to happen. And hopefully if they go for it, we'll be able to take advantage. Uh, we'll bring Rashid in now with Wokes. Lunch interval on day five. They've reached 54 without loss. Rashid with the first ball after lunch. Oof, they were very fortunate there. Very, very fortunate. Walks now. In. And not as quick a start as we had in the first innings. Rashid now. Oh, and that's a thin edge, and he is gone for 45. That's a, a good breakthrough to get. We now need to get De Silva out. Rashid to De Silva. Walks now to Mendes. Nope. These two have bowled really, really well. Anderson and Stokes now get a chance. Stokes to De Silva. Edge and gone. He's out for 62. Come on. This is exactly what we need. We need a couple of more wickets before T if we have any chance of winning this match. Helm now to Chandamal. Gone. He's out for 23. Danger man gone there. Teenville day 5. We need 7 wickets to win. In this last session, Rashid's going to be a big part of that. Can he get Matthews out here? No. Not a run out either. Hell now to Mendes. No thin edge. Rashid to Matthews. It's a good little partnership that they're brewing up here. And Matthew is, Matthews is gone. He's out for 15. We've got new batsman to the crease. Helm now to Mendes. Mendes is the next man we need to get. <coughs> oh, there was an appeal for a catch behind, but none given. Anderson now to Jai Surya. Wafton outside off stump. Rashid now to Mendes. Good delivery. Just outside the line, though, I think. Don't think we've got enough time to do this. Rashid to Jai Surya. That was a terrific delivery. Rashid Ajay Sure again. Got him this time. He's gone for 75. Ooh. I mean, at Sri Lanka need 35 to win. They've really picked up the pace in this session. And they could well win this. They are going to win it. Goodness me. Rashid now to Mendes. And there is the win and runs. Sri Lanka, all credit to them, scoring 171 runs in that session. And it was all because of Jai Surya. Look at that attacking innings there. I thought they were just playing for the draw, but they've gone on and won the match. Fogden gets man of the match because of his two sentries, but ultimately we are defeated. And, yeah, by five wickets. Not, not exactly a close match. And now we have to go into the second match and actually perform <laughs> if you've enjoyed that make sure you leave a like down below it really does mean a lot for me and for the channel and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye